Asian cucumber salad. So what do we think the main ingredient's gonna be? Gonna be cucumber. All right, so this right here, hot house cucumber, extremely long. I am probably only gonna use half of this because I am only making a serving for me. Um, if you are not aware, the hot house cucumber is the cucumber that grows in a greenhouse, hence the name hot house, and you could find it all year round. It's the variety that shows up in plastic in your grocery store. Um, so, so yeah, so this particular variety, I keep the skin on. The traditional one, I think it's called the English cucumber. The skin tends to be a little thicker. So if I was using an English cucumber for this recipe, I would cut the skin off. Um, but with this one, keeping it on. Also the Persian cucumber, which is also known as the mini cucumber, could be used in this recipe as well. Um, as you see, this is a very simple, simple salad. I cut the cucumber in half and then cut it in half and then blind it up and cut it into little um, half moons, I guess we'll call these, right? So in addition to this cucumber, I'm gonna add in a uh, red pepper. Um, you know what? I'm gonna take this as an opportunity to show how to cut a red pepper effectively, right? So the best way to get the most out of your red pepper is to cut off the top of your red pepper and to cut off the bottom of your red pepper. Then you cut inside of your red pepper. Get all of that good core stuff out of there. Get it all out. If you happen to be a um, stock bagger, this could go into the stock. And it's not gonna add much much flavor, but it'll give you some type of some type of dimension, another layer of something in your broth if you want to hold on to it. Otherwise, you can just compost it. Um, then you can just cut this in this one place and you have like this nice little even pepper that you can cut from. Also, how we maximize the top and the bottom, you just push out this little top piece and then you can cut up this. Um, so what I'm actually going to do for this because, no, you know, I'm going to keep my salad pretty. I'm going to go back here. So we're going to go here and chop these up. And I'm going to just do medium dices. So I'm going to cut them my lines. You know how much I love my lines, guys, when it comes to cooking. Um, and then, but I want these to be not quite square, but not quite long. So kind of a longer, a longer dice. Not not quite a rectangle either, but a little over a square. So <laughs> we're going to throw these simple peppers right inside of the salad. Then we're going to add in cilantro, one of my favorite herbs. It smells super fresh. And it adds a nice little punch to, to dishes. Uh, cilantro shows up a lot in um in Thai in Thai food um in the Asian genre of food. And so um I always try to dump it in as many things as I can. I just really love the the different level of flavor that you add. And as you can see, I'm also cutting the stems, not only the leaves, because those stems pack a ton of flavor as well. Um, with, with cilantro or any herb, I'm only going to put in a little to start before I taste because uh, you just want to make sure you have that have that balance. There is a such thing as too much herb, um, so we don't want to kill it. And then I'm going to throw in good old green onions, also known as scallions. And I'm going to cut them, um, as they call it, on a bias. The only reason you cut them on a bias is because, you know, if you cut them this way, it looks like you kind of know what you're doing. So just diagonal, cut them diagonally. They just look cooler. So that's what we're doing today. Bam, 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 bam. Now I'm gonna just put some of them into, and I'm gonna save some like the cilantro for the top. So this is the base of the salad, super, super simple. So what gives it its flavor? It's our good friend here, rice vinegar. Um, and now a little tip about rice vinegar. There are two types of rice vinegars. There's something called seasoned rice vinegar, and then there's just regular rice vinegar. Now the seasoned rice vinegar, has salt and sugar infused into it. So I would not recommend using that one regularly, whereas the rice wine vinegar, just plain, unseasoned, regular old rice wine vinegar, it's just vinegar. So there's no added calories, no added sugar, no added salt. So when you are purchasing your rice wine vinegar, be sure to um, check to see if you're gonna be getting a seasoned one or an unseasoned one, depending on what your goals are. Um, I'm gonna throw in just a dash of soy sauce. You know, it's Asian, so you wanna add in, add in that kick. Now, um, if you, this salad tastes good without soy sauce too, FYI, if for some reason you don't use soy, um, that's just a little tip. Add in some red pepper flakes because I like it spicy. You could also do um, jalapeno here if you have some of that. I would recommend dicing them small. Um, and then good old garlic powder. And I like a lot of garlic and uh, also our good friend Ginger is going to make an appearance because it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be a brandy salad and it definitely wouldn't be Asian, but a little bit of ginger. Now for people who have not seen the magic that we sometimes perform in the EMP kitchen with a spoon, 
I'm gonna share with you how you can literally peel ginger with a spoon. You get the skin off, and this piece is weird and small, so it's just getting it in there. It's a little, a little more difficult than it normally is, but literally, just taking a spoon and we're peeling the skin off. I'm gonna break, break this off and see if I just have just a straight surface versus all these little, little fingers. It'll help us a little better. So yeah, there you go. Get this, get this going. You guys know I love ginger. Ginger has so many properties. First off, it's nice and spicy. Second off, it has so many anti-inflammatory um, benefits, and it is an antibacterial agent. So, bam, good old garlic. Oh, it also helps with morning sickness. And um, if you're on a boat and you get, I don't know what that's called, motion sickness. That's what it's motion sickness. This right here is the microplane. Now, if you had um, if you had powdered ginger, you could totally use that. You know, dried ginger powder, totally. I just like fresh ginger. I had some fresh ginger. I wanted to add it to this dish. All right. Now, literally, you take this, you stir it together, you let all this stuff off, uh, mix together, sit. Now, personally, I like to make this salad like early, like so. I make it early in the day, um, and then I let it sit so things can kind of come together a little bit. Uh, but it tastes fine just straight to without waiting. I'm going to taste it now just to see if I need some more herb now. Mm, it's good. I personally don't need anything else in here. So what I'm going to do is finish it off. And then meet you guys back shortly for questions.